are back. We're closing off today's show with another great recipe. Lightening things up for your Monday morning. Maybe you're gonna get in, get, get into the kitchen uh, later on tonight, or just to make something special during the course of the week. It's loves the season, and a well-known chef, of course, is usually with us here in studio, usually schooling us on what goodness you can make out of breadfruit. But today, he is telling us all about lobster. And so, uh, joining us, we have Tim August. Of course, he is the chef of Stone Crab Grill and Bar. Good morning. Good morning, Tim. Good morning. How are you today? I survived. I survived. I survived. <laughs> this is going to be torture if you make breadfruit on TV and I can't eat it. Marlene, sorry, man. I have to apologize to you. I have to wait until it's on the bread. I promise you that. I hope, I hope a lot of people are trying to believe it today. So I definitely before the airport opened, uh -huh. I hurry for it and I hurry for back. <laughs> the sooner, I like the how you say that, before the airport opened. The sooner open. the better, Tim. I don't have no chance, eh? But All right. Yeah, I'm blessed to live in a nice you know, jungle, jungle settings. So mm -hmm. we, we always are on lockdown, so I never have nothing strange, should we know? <laughs> so how's business been? We know that COVID slowed a lot of things down, but some people still had to eat. How do you survive? Well, I'll tell you what, at the beginning, I decided to take a break. But then when I realized a lot of people just, um, especially like frontline workers, and so can't, uh, can't cook and you know, people just miss the food, so we just decide to go right back tonight. And I'm surprised that I couldn't even keep up. Okay. You know, so I can't say I, 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 I suffer during the um, you know, state of emergency. I actually yeah. did better. I learned a lot of things, you know, time to practice home. Yeah. So I think, you know, good to go. That's good, that's good. I, I like the fact that you, you took the stay at home time, so to speak, to sharpen up on your skills. Which is good. A turn house husband. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> you were already the cook of the house, so. <laughs> correct, correct. But they, but I had to make breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right? Okay, yeah. so in the breakfast, it's what? Fried breadfruit. In lunch, it's I, what? Roast? You know, like, right? <laughs> everybody at home. They don't know school, so everybody at home. So everybody just, you know, make requests every now and then. And, yeah. you know, yeah. what we promised them a year ago. So, yeah. Well, it's um, you know, it's been good. Can't complain. You know, we're happy to hear and that. I know, I know, a lot of people turn master chef during uh, COVID nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> we have a competition right now. The line man, if I have to be my fan. So yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know <laughs> if it's master because none of us got to sample it, right? But the pictures <laughs> look good. <laughs> yeah. Well, All right, Tim, let's get into some cooking now. Today, you're making lobster for us. Yes, um, definitely. I got a two lobster tail, and it's lobster season. And normally, I get my birthday is June thirtieth, and usually it's lobster season mm -hmm. um, around my birthday. So this year, I, and I spent the last two birthday in Kikaka. You know, Kikaka got the best lobster fest. So <laughs> I made this year. I uh, Miss Grill Master this year, and everything. So mm -hmm. this the opportunity uh, to showcase what we do. A uh, good opportunity. I'll big up you guys on Channel 5 every time. Yeah. You know, to yeah. help young entrepreneurs like me upcoming, mm -hmm. you know, to show what we're doing, no? So today we're going to be doing a lobster, um, a grilled lobster, a, a citrus flavored lobster, right? And what mm -hmm. I have in the back here, I don't know if you guys can see, yeah, but I have been marinating my lobster tails in orange an orange juice. So Ooh. these has been in this orange juice uh, from I got up this morning at 5.30. So these babies are soaking in orange juice. So they are already changing color tails. due to the acidity of the orange. Mm -hmm. And so I, this is what we're gonna have today, a lemon flavor orange, right? And I'm gonna be doing like a, um, a dice of everything, cause I know we're, we're, we're short at times, so dice of we're gonna be doing a little I am Creole sauce, mm -hmm. and after we're going to do, instead of mashed potato, we're going to be doing mashed breadfruit. Mm. You ever tried to it? Can't be your cooking without, without breadfruit, breadfruit, right? 
<laughs> you, you know, you got a thing. So I have substituted breadfruit for almost anything, everything. Mm -hmm. um, I know I've seen some pictures. Uh, they show that the breadfruit burger, breadfruit nachos, breadfruit tacos. And so today I'm going to be doing some breadfruit, some mashed breadfruit to, pump, to go along with our grill and stuff. So let me try and grab some, some of this breadfruit. All right, here I have some breadfruit diced up just like you would do with the potatoes. Okay. Right? And what I'm going to be doing is adding some unsalted butter. Could be any but the cheap butter, but I got some nice morning glow, morning sun, sun butter. And I'm going to be adding to it. So you, right? you boil and it pork. about the same time as a potato? Correct. Okay. Same time for some people boil it and then finish steaming or. Whichever, I mean, the less you could boil, the better health benefits covered fruit. There are a lot of health benefits mm -hmm. if you Google it. Of course, I have to add some gray coconut powder to that. Mm. Get a nice flavor in there, right? And breadfruit basically loves salt. So all I have to do is add some salt to that, right? And nothing fancy, but I got my mash here, so we have a mash this breadfruit, right? So coconut powder, leaf butter, and of course, Ali, Ali garlic powder, right? Yes. If you have fresh garlic, even better, but right now, <laughs> so, so the mash really like fruit. the old school masha you're using. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks like a land shark. It is. <laughs> yeah. this is. This is what we have to do to survive nowadays. Oh, you know? yes. Yeah. That's how we grew up. And then we used yeah. to use that as roller too, if you had to roll out though. Yeah. Nice, nice mashed breadfruit. I mean, and if you put this in, uh, if you have a kitchen here and you whip this, it will be even much nicer, right? Yeah. So, what we're going to be doing is, let me pull my plate. Let me pull my plate. I have some breadfruit shells and I have a little breadfruit fries, of course. So what I'm going to be doing is packing this inside here. Is that a slice so, that you fried? Yes, this is a slice. So we're packing mashed breadfruit into a slice of breadfruit. So this is not like when you go and you get a daily thing where you have to send back in at the kitchen. The bowl. Yeah. You, you have to eat this too. Right? <laughs> we have some fruit fries, the compliment. Oh, my God. You know? Mm -hmm. All right. Right. I oppose to this segment for the simple fact that it's not in front of yeah, us and we can sample. We could sample. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And what I normally do is, um, yeah, you can add a little garnish, maybe a little cilantro and that. Okay. But like I can say right now, twenty dollars a pound, so we have a careful cilantro. <laughs> All right. The next, the next compliment. I'll go with that. I'm gonna be doing a Creole, Creole sauce. So, so what is a Creole sauce? Creole sauce is uh, a mixture of vegetable with some spices. Mm -hmm. um, it, uh, got fresh garlic, onion, tomato, sweet pepper, and um, cilantro, of course. And we started off with olive oil, and then we're gonna be you can season that to your liking, no? So mm -hmm. I start usually start off with some olive oil, All right? And then I have everything here. I have my garlic. Crushed already. I have my um, purple onion, which I love to work with, tomatoes. And I usually dice these a little chunkier because you want it to be nice and chunky, right? Mm -hmm. So we're just going to leave the, that to heat up. And then I'm going to start working on this. So if you see my lobster tail, this one I already started to do a little grilling on it. So you can see it's already nice and has a mm -hmm. nice red color and everything, right? So I'm just going to finish this off on the grill. Right, and then we're also going to be making, since it's a citrus flavor, we're also going to be making a, a zesty orange sauce to go with it. No over sauce. This is the over sauce. I want to send this to you know. All right. right. So, so once again, that's just been marinating in pure orange juice. That's it. Pure, pure orange juice. And then we're going to use the same orange juice that is setting in to make, to make the sauce. So you have, basically, we'll use... Use everything, so nothing is waste. 
you know, and orange gives it, as long as it's soaking orange, if, especially if you can do it overnight, I mean, you don't even need, basically, normally I cook lobster like a minute per ounce, but if you are doing this marination, then it's just to basically heat it up, because right? You don't need too much grilling. I see people usually leave lobster on the grill mm -hmm. for 15, 20 minutes. That's, that's Then it's good. dry. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And while I'm chilling with you guys, I have my moringa tea. I don't know if you guys know about moringa, mm -hmm. but I used to promote moringa very heavy. They are not a miracle tree. So this is what I start my morning with nice, a double nice. dose of moringa. All right. So I think we got hot, hot fire now. So I'll go ahead and put in my, my stuff. I usually leave the cilantro for last so that. Um, you know, that doesn't need a lot of cooking. Mm -hmm. Then to thicken that up, I normally make a little uh, butter, which is uh, consists of flour and a little um, ricardo to give it a leaf color. Mm -hmm. um, I'll mix that in with a little bit of water. All right. So ricardo and the ricardo is mixing up. Ricardo and a bit of flour, just to, just to give after you're picking it. Okay. And then of course, I have some, I have in the house, the best, the lady, they were like, oh, they're home, it's Marisha. I know how to have to use that. And then also, for people when I have access to orange, they have a nice um, orange marmalade mm -hmm. and a nice orange jelly. So putting these two together with the orange juice, and, and you know, just bring it down to a, to a simmer. Yeah. We'll give you the skin, we'll give you that nice texture to go with the lobster. So, if you can make it from just the orange juice, that's good. But these products work very good. Yeah. So, definitely, I definitely recommend orange. All right, so this is what we got going here, right? You can see that's a nice. I'll add some marisha for spice. Okay. Right. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. And then I will put in a little bit of this so it can stick in up. Mm. Alright, so that's just going to be a sauce. You're going to cook the lobster in the sauce or you're pouring it over? No, this is going to be it. What, what I'll do is add a lobster tail to this. So mm -hmm. I have one of the tails that will be, you know, I'll cut this off. Okay. And so this will be like a Creole lobster, yeah. right? But this one, because it's been marinated, it doesn't it doesn't need a lot of cooking. So yeah. that's the last minute now, I'll throw those in. Oh, that must be delicious. Yeah, I could imagine. Yeah. <laughs> And this, you, you don't really need a lot of seasoning with it, but I still like to add a little black pepper mm -hmm. right? and a little complete seasoning just to give it a little taste. Yeah. And a lot of people, like always, people like ask me, say, you know the measurement? I tell them, no. I just start, <laughs> just start seasoning till my ancestors tell me stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they are going to tell somebody, I say, my old man tell me, you know, the other day, he said, um, he said, well, first I have to cook, I tell him, I just, my people, I know, they cook, I said, but one time, they tell me, put, put nail in at the beans, you soften in the beans. <laughs> and I put the nail in at the beans, but the beans, the nail gets soft before the beans, mm. so I don't know what kind of beans. <laughs> That's a serious beans, Tim. <laughs> right, and so I got this other, um, here, here. I'm already going to even throw this on the grill, right, but since we're not, we're just, so enough to leave it. I'm just trying to compromise in one little spot. So I'll just put this to heat up right here and to finish cooking there. So, mm. so look at that. We have a nice Creole lobster here. Oh, that looks right? delicious. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then I'm going to put this. That lobster is already cooked. So I'm just going to stop this other breadfruit. So again, if you want to eat your dish, you could eat your dish. You don't have to shave. All right. I'm so jealous of who yeah. gets to have that for breakfast. <laughs> All right. And then, like, like I said, finally, I'm going to be making a sauce just to go over it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? 
So you got the tail itself grilling. You cooked up the lobster in the Creole mm -hmm. sauce. You did some mash bread fruit for us already. Correct. So what's coming now? All right, so now let's go to the sauce to go with, with the that will be based on the on the Grilled tail. Lobster. Yeah. All right, and then I'm grilling some oranges too just to garnish. So mm -hmm. let's do this. So this for the sauce, what I do, um, a little bit of butter. Mm -hmm. So I leave it at butter. And then the sea orange juice for me the say a la niceness for the down there still. Yeah. And that's the lean and the So I'm gonna waste my orange, right? Yeah. And then I already what I did, these are very thick. These two these two products are very thick, so I'm gonna use what I did, I just you know, kind of broke them down. This this the marmalade has some nice orange chunks in it. Mm -hmm. You know, already so that this has a sweet, sour, and you know, mm. it's very, very good with, with, with lobster. So, as soon as this comes to a little simmer, I'll add those. I could only imagine what your house smells like right now. <laughs> once you put, once you put fresh garlic in a good butter. Mm -hmm. Well, never wake up because <laughs> yeah. that, that's the secret. Once yeah. I always watch people walk past my house when I cook and they don't look back like that. I want to stop in and ask You can't blame them, right? <laughs> huh? You can't blame me. Yeah, I can't blame them. My, my neighborhood always smells good. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I live in the beautiful Carol Reserve of Dangriga Town. Mm -hmm. nice, I'm blessed. Bro. You know, I still, I still have. It's all the flora and fauna around me. Mm -hmm. I got some bird way, wake me up every morning. Mm -hmm. And then they talk, you think you're sweet? You think you're sweet? <laughs> <laughs> Tim, so you still, have you opened up your restaurant? Are you still doing takeout we, from we home? We are in the process. We are in the process. I, I um, we went to reapply for license and to mm -hmm. take him back our letter that we intend to open. Yeah. All right, so there we have our lobster, mm. right? On yeah. the grill, you have gotten a lot of had a nice little grill marks, but as you can see. And then what I did, I took this out of the shell, so for easy, you know. So when you when you start eating, you don't need to dig up. Mm -hmm. So the shell so is just for decoration. It's just a decoration, nice garnish, and then you have your access to your lobster meat, where you yeah. can check the and everything, all right? So this has come to a boil, so I'll just add in. So. Even though the restaurant isn't open, I know you still sell food on a uh, on a regular basis, right? Yes, we, we do take out, and I, my, me and my family, we are a little team here, so mm -hmm. we are we still sometimes for the day we still do a party or fifty plate right from the house, so yeah. we, we can't complain. People people still love our food. They're uh, supporting. That's the only thing. No matter what, I protect I protect my brand at all costs. Mm -hmm. so, so you still um you, you you don't also ship it to Belize City too? I, I do I do some that the, the plane the, the flights have since COVID they have um been very I won't say unreliable because we understand but yeah. they only have six days and then if there's nothing in Dangriga to pick up they don't stop it. Oh, okay. So yeah. we can't claim them. Right? You know what so, we were gonna get at, right? We were gonna tell you to put that food on the flight. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> but but if you if you get you can always confirm and they'll tell you when well, we don't have anything Wednesday yeah. or we have right. Friday. So you guys I I'll, I'll still i still pick you up. And then while while we have that um, this finishing up, mm -hmm. um my plan, you know I'm always trying to do my little give box too. So I know school is um about to open. Yeah. yeah. And I imagine those feeding programs will be in more dire need now more than ever. Mm -hmm. So my plan is since I started to bottle the Obia sauce, uh, which, which I can't even keep up with, um, you know, I have decided to try and see how I could work with a couple of the uh, feeding programs around yeah. the country uh, to provide them with an amount of sauce so they can distribute and whatever they make from that, 
those to the, to the program, no? So I'll be yeah. just donating things. That's a good to initiative. Them. And then, yeah, they, then in return, or they can, they, they don't even have to collect money, they can trade the sauce. Mm -hmm. So if somebody has flour and beans, they could say, okay, well, this is $10. You bring me $10 rice and rice and, you know, the equivalent yeah. of $10 yeah. and you get your sauce. So yeah. you, you'll I'm get it to them and they can get the proceeds of the sale or if yeah. they um, yes, they, are able to get yes, other so I, products for it. Yeah, so I give them, I give them the product. They are in, tra in, uh, in charge of trying to, and then I'll help them promote it too because I'll say, well, this is where you can get it. This is where you can get it. And then, mm. you, you know, once you're buying one of these, you're knowing what it's going to. So I think it's a win-win situation. Yeah. My product is being yeah, promoted, helping mm. at the same time. And but anybody who didn't know your obia sauce is your favorite, is your famous wing sauce, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. This, this is the, you can go about your most combat sauce. <laughs> <laughs> This this is how they can't, they start calling me the Obia man, which is I'm no Obia man, but <laughs> because of the sauce. I love that you're yeah. trying to clarify that on TV, right? <laughs> so this is this normally the sauce can go till it's nice and thick, but mm -hmm. I mean this is if you all you smell right now is citrus, citrus, citrus. Oh, so wow. all you can do is now just so that was butter, orange juice, and your reduced uh, marmalade, right? Correct. And a little, and a little jelly. If the oranges are oh, sour, too sour mm. if the oranges are too green and sour like these ones, then you want a little sweet. So then to balance the sour, mm -hmm. um, so you can add some of the some of the jelly, which it has a little bit more sugar. So this is, yeah, this is gonna be. One lobster, I tell you. I envy you, bro. I know. I, 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 it's, already, it's already marinated, so the moisture is still there. You want to yeah. put it on the grill for a couple of minutes just to heat it up so you don't get cold food. And then you have a nice hot citric sauce going over it. And then, you know, and with everything else. So basically, for today, this is what we got. Right? right. No lot of fanciness. Just nice production. So, okay. well, thank I you very normally... much, Tim. That was a, it was wonderful to watch, but the end is particularly painful. So we're just gonna get I'm you off now, me. right? <laughs> <laughs> it I'm looks delicious. I have my, I saw I have my oranges to, my grilled oranges to, to garnish, right? Yeah, yeah. So these, so these are just the finishing touch. Well, let us know when you're in Belize City so we can get our order in. And, of course, uh, you do offer uh, your, your food sales in Dangriga, um, where people can yeah. be able to contact you and get your special for the day. Uh, thank you once again for showing us this brand new recipe, the breadfruit, and the two different yeah. ways of doing lobster. Thank you, Tim. All right, Marlene, thank you. And tell whoever get that for breakfast, they're really lucky. <laughs> Well, somebody yeah. doesn't watch it here in the background. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then one last thing, Marlene. So uh, my number is 6270706. Or they can contact me on Facebook by the Tim August. If anybody, the, the feeding programs that are interested, they can yeah. touch base with me and then we can see how we can start and maybe do something before, even before school opens. Nice. So that, you know, we can have, they can have some little funding. All right. All right. Thank you, Thank you very much, Tim. All right. Stay Good safe. Evening, Tim.